Is this what Lush calls a sale? These fragrances are an epic fail, and Blueberry Face puts the gang on your trail. I'm Jen from Jen Loves Reviews, and What's Been Makeup starts now. Welcome to What's Up in Makeup for February 17th, 2019. Today's episode is sponsored by Scentbird, the monthly fragrance subscription service that lets you try designer perfumes. I have actually been a Scentbird subscriber for years, and as someone who enjoys switching up my perfumes very often and trying new scents, the subscription is perfect for me. One thing that I absolutely love about Scentbird is that you get to choose what scent is right for you. You don't have to just wait for whatever they send to you. You pick it and you can set them months ahead so you don't have to worry about going on their website every single month to pick your scent. 120 to 140 sprays in each bottle and you have over 500 scents to choose from. My current favorite is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. It is definitely very sexy but not too spicy and it does have a touch of vanilla and fruit scent. I know I never would have thought to pick it up without Scentbird so I am very thankful that my subscription allowed me to try it. It is super easy to take with me for travel as well using their roll-up case that's included with your first bottle, and you can sign up for Scentbird using my code GENREVIEW for 30% off your first month. I do not earn a commission from that code. It is just a tracking link so Scentbird can see how many people sign up after watching this video. And by the way, there is a men's subscription too. My husband gets it, and as his wife, I can highly recommend that one as well. Scentbird is currently promoting two scents, the unisex Casewell Maxi LX48, which has notes of black leather, tobacco, cedar, oak moss, and violet, as well as the male scent Virtue by Vince Camuto. It has notes of peppercorn, Tuscan leather, and Haitian vetiver. They sent them to me. I was not a fan of them. My husband loves both of them. Everyone likes different things, so maybe you'll like them. Maybe you'll be like me and you won't like them, but there's gonna be something on that website that is something that you might be interested in. So definitely check it out. Links are down in the video description down below. And now that we have thanked our sponsor, let's go ahead and get into today's top industry news. A 50% off sale on Lush products is bound to turn heads and grab shoppers in open wallets. However, Lush locations in Korea are under fire after their half off prices lined up with full price items available in the UK. Products were selling for 8,500 won, that's about $7.50 US. That's more than other regions, even at their sale price. A visitor to the Seoul store complained, quote, I can understand that Lush is cheaper in the UK, but twice the price in Korea seems to be excessively overpriced. Others grumbled that the sale items had shorter shelf lives than they had expected, to which a representative from Lush countered, quote, at the event, we sold products having at least eight months to go. Thus, we believe there will be no problems. Despite the price inflation and shorter expiry times, the event was wildly popular, with items selling out online and in-store in the first day. What do you think about such sales tactics? Let us know in the comments. In this week's edition of Counterfeit items that you should not buy. London detectives seized fake perfumes, over $51,000 worth, and after testing for contaminants, found that they contained chemicals such as arsenic and cyanide, and even urine. I'm not kidding. Aside from the obvious chemical dangers in purchasing imposter products, the Police Intellectual Property Crime Unit noted that there are also inherent financial dangers. They told local news, quote, purchasing counterfeit goods online often result in your personal details being used to set up new fraudulent websites. Treat your Valentine to something legitimate from a reputable seller. Avoid heartbreak, don't buy a fake. Very creative wording. Clinique is popping up all over to celebrate the launch of their Clinique ID personalized skincare line. The first pop-up shop is in New York City and sported brightly colored cartridges and bottles with skin experts to help guide visitors on their skincare journey. After answering a variety of questions or seeking an iPad-driven skin evaluation, customers were led to their own personalized treatment option. They then followed color-coded paths on the floor to bring them to their skincare destination. From among the 50 
15 combinations of moisturizers and cartridge treatments. The journey ended with Instagrammable photo opportunities and virtual reality opportunities, taking the customers to Clinique's favorite locations, Morocco, Japan, Spain, Bali, and Iceland. While the New York pop-up closes today, the tour is not over. Clinique ID will pop up again in Dallas, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and other cities. You can also have your own Clinique ID experience at Ulta and department stores, as well as online only at Sephora. Did you know the purchase of luxury beauty items has been used in the past as an economic indicator? It's called the lipstick effect. The theory that when facing an economic crisis, consumers were in, will indulge in less costly luxury goods like an expensive lipstick. However, recent beauty industry trends suggest that the correlation between economic health and cosmetic sales is diminishing. Beauty enthusiasts have expanded their purchases to include other color cosmetics products, and innovation in the field has kept spending high regardless of outside economic climates. Brand and product loyalty and varying product price ranges have also thinned out the reliability of the lipstick effect. Experts project that beauty sales will continue to grow in the future on their own, even as the economic climate stabilizes. There was a time when if you graduated from MIT, your field of choice was technology, but more and more grads are looking to disrupt other markets, including luxury skincare. The founders of indie skincare brand May Love, three MIT graduates, brought together researchers from all walks of life to determine key ingredients from product reviews and secure a partner lab with which to work. True to their focus on keeping product costs low, all items are under $30. May Love relies on online sales and word of mouth marketing. Beauties who are poised to try the brand are encouraged to go for their cult favorite glow maker vitamin C serum, but all products are advertised as being beneficial to all skin types. You can purchase May Love products on the brand's website. Gillette Venus has contracted transgender reality star Jazz Jennings as the face of their hashtag MySkinMyWay campaign. The movement hopes to, quote, rewrite skincare and shaving norms by allowing models to embrace their own routines. Jazz told Bustle, quote, all women think they're expected to have glowing, perfect, radiant skin. This campaign dismantles that misconception. Skin isn't always that. It's natural. It's a layer of the body. The campaign celebrates women of diverse backgrounds with unretouched advertising and authentic individual displays of what it means to embrace their own skin. Featured messages include, quote, Venus stands with all women who write the rules of skin and, quote, wherever you choose to shave, Venus has you covered. Jennings expressed that the campaign has helped her convey her own truth. She said, quote, I have always had my awareness of who I was on the inside and I wanted to express that externally so the whole world could see who I am within. I took steps to have the transition and I am confident and happy in my own skin. I look in the mirror and see the true reflection of who I am. Veteran onset makeup artists Tim Buchanan and Beverly Jo Pryor, who have worked on Dreamgirls, Empire, Selma, and Black Panther, revealed that they have to get creative on set to ensure the right looks for the stars. Even with more brands releasing a diverse shade range, Buchanan noted that it's difficult finding them when shopping in store. Often the correct shades are hidden in the back of drawers or only available online. Tim explained to NBC, quote, just because they have an Asian, Latino, or African-American face on the poster, when you get to the counter, the the products that represent those people are not there or easily accessible. He hopes that increased demand will continue to push the industry to release more diversified products. In the meantime, schools are educate aspiring makeup artists to the importance of shade matching, which Beverly explained helps her achieve flawless finishes on the set. She told NBC, quote, I've been mixing and blending from the very beginning because that's what I do. Everybody has different undertones. You have to know how to mix and blend like a painter and get the color they need. Both MUAs admit to mixing a host of products on the fly to get the correct finish and undertone every time. Although the industry has come a long way, there's still room for growth. Both MUAs hope to continue to work with diverse casts in the future. Alicia Keys slays wherever she goes and continues to wow the public with her decision to go makeup free. Her fresh face look at the Grammy Awards has a killer skin routine to thank, she says. Keys makeup artist Dottie explained the importance of a varied skincare routine in an interview with W Magazine. Currently, Dottie starts Alicia off with an iced jade roller and homemade cucumber pulp mask to tone down redness and eliminate heat. She uses a mix of cleansing and treatment oils from the Australian brand M. V, followed by an array of masks geared toward treating targeted issues. What's the total cost of this makeup-free Grammy look? About 
$455. Yikes! But don't fret, Dottie recommends several Burt's Bees products as an affordable alternative. Their eye masks and nourishment face oil were used in conjunction with the skincare routine described earlier to give Keys a glowing look at the awards ceremony. It was revealed that Alicia was actually wearing a hint of color products at the Grammys, including Burt's Bees Foundation, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencil, and a self-tanning serum strategically placed for added warmth. Dottie noted that while she currently enjoys the skincare-focused regimen, she looks forward to Alicia's next move, telling W, quote, I was just speaking with her earlier and she said, there's going to be a time when I say, you know what, I want a red lip. This isn't really a big statement, she's just loving where she is. And finally, before you use the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder on your next night out, Take heed. A woman in Missouri dusted the product all over her face to set her makeup before a night of laser tag with friends. Amanda Whitrock was shocked to see her skin appear a reddish purple in the black light of the laser tag venue. The reason for the color change? The Easy Bake Loose Powder contains synthetic florflogopite, an alternative to mica which glows under black lights. Whitrock's post has been shared over 20,000 times. Though Whitrock has been lighthearted about the whole experience, even receiving a gift from Huda Beauty for sharing her tip, beauties who do not want to look like a blueberry on their next night out should consider an alternate option. <laughs> In events news this week, the makeup show shop is coming to Washington, D.C. and is open to all beauty lovers, makeup enthusiasts, influencers, and pro artists. This is your chance to shop an exclusive luxury beauty sale that introduces all the makeup must-haves, according to them. August 3rd and 4th at the Grand Hyatt, D.C. One day tickets $25, two days $40. February 17th is Random Act of Kindness Day, and we're doing a kindness by going right into the weekly product report. The Clinique Cheek Pop on the Glow Trio Palette is at Sephora with blush, bronzer, and highlighter for a healthy radiance. It's $29.50. Fresh Sugar Mint Rush Freshening Lip Treatment is a 24-hour moisturizing lip treatment with minty freshness, $24. From Ilia, True Skin Radiant Priming Serum gives a radiant finish, $52. True Skin Serum Serum Concealer has medium buildable coverage in nine shades for $30. Milk Makeup now has a lip color packed with pigment and hydrating ingredients, as they say, in 10 shades for $24. Natasha Denona's Blush and Glow Palette is also at Sephora with four shades for $55. Two from Tarte, online only at Sephora. Rose is Bay lip set or why not lip set are both vegan and each has a unique themed brush $24 each Urban Decay Naked Reloaded eyeshadow palette will arrive online February 27th and in store at Sephora March 7th with 11 reinvented shades $44 Laura Geller Spackle Concealer is now at Ulta with all the features of the Spackle Primer and a medium to full coverage concealer six shades for $26 launching today at Ulta from Too Faced is the Pretty Mess Collection eyeshadow palette with 12 shades is $42. Lip Injection Extreme Instant and Long Term Lip Plumper is $28. Pat the Puss Kissable Body Shimmer $36. Polite Lips Color and Lip Gloss Kit is $29 and the DSL Color and Gloss Lip Kit is $29 as well. The High Impact Highlighter is $30. From Ofra, the Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio 3 Shade Palette is only at Ulta for $29. Actually, on the list of holidays for February 20th, Rihanna's birthday. Let's have that take us into the higher end of things. From Giorgio Armani, Power Fabric Compact Foundation takes the popular formula and puts it into a portable form. Full to medium coverage and a satin finish, 12 shades for $64. Power Fabric Stretchable Concealer is a high coverage liquid with a matte velvet finish in 19 shades for $34. From Jane Iredale comes the Pure Lash Lengthening Mascara developed with seaweed lipids and wheat protein to thicken, curl, and strengthen lashes while triple length cellulose fibers contribute to extra length and thickness in two shades for $24. Great Shape Contour Kit has a trio of blendable pressed powder matte shades available in warmer cool for $49. From VDL on Beautylish, the product name of the week is Expert Color Lip Cube Fluid Velvet. It is a lightweight lip stain that delivers intense hydration with a matte formula. It comes in 10 shades for $22. From Burberry, the full brow two-piece set is dual-ended and 
has a water-based liner to define and fill on one end with a powder wax shadow to build and set on the other in four shades for $35. From Decorte, the Silky Moist Veil Face Powder has moisture bonding molecules for a hydrated finish in five shades for $50. Now what's taking us back to the drugstore side? February 21st, is National Sticky Bun Day from Milani. New Intense Bronze Glow Face and Body Powder Bronzer has both intense pearls and bronzing pigments to deliver a foil-like metallic shine. Water and transfer resistant, it is $19.99. And there's also a new Intense Bronze Glow Face and Body Liquid Bronzer, also pearlized and formulated with coconut extract and also $19.99. Wet n Wild has released the new Rebel Rose Collection, which they say proves there's more to beauty than meets the eye. They're making the Rebel Rebel Rose full collection box available featuring three color icon eyeshadow quads, four mega last ca liquid catsuit lipsticks, a color icon cream blush, and two rose shaped brushes for $39.99 on their site now. From Physicians Formula comes the Lash Mixologist 3 in 1 Mascara, a customizable duo of two different formulas with two different brushes designed to mix and match for the ultimate full dramatic lashes $13.49. Makeup Revolution's Foil Frenzy Collection palette is now available on their site with 15 shades for $10 from Flower Beauty. The Petal Pout Lip Mask is a recovery treatment infused with nourishing mango and coconut butter in six new varieties, Sangria, Pucker, Smooch, Nectar, Lucky, and Starlet, $9.99. From Sleek Makeup and online only at Walgreens.com, the Eyes Gone Wild set includes three of Sleek's best-selling eyeshadow palettes, $30. Sleek Lip Roulette set contains 12 lip color products from the Major Matte, Major Matte Metallic, and Lip Shot Lines, $30. One treat from Catrice, Arctic Glow Highlighting Powder is a frosty highlight that offers an iridescent glow for cooler skin tones and porcelain complexions with silver white and violet pigments, $8.99. And if you're in the UK, we didn't forget you. Superdrug has the Rimmel's most loved set for Galentine's Day with mascara, lipstick, nail polish, and stay matte powder for 12 pounds. Eco Tools wants you to be fresh. Fresh Perfecting Blender is infused with antimicrobial silver to make it stay fresh and last longer before replacement. It is $5.99. Fresh Perfecting Body Blender is the larger version and it's $7.99. February 18th is National Drink Wine Day. And fortunately at QVC, aficionados of both red and white can get $3 shipping. I don't know about y'all pink wine drinkers though. What do you drink? Let me know. <laughs> Laura Geller Discovery Five Piece Kit lets you sample some of her best spackle, baked blush, and highlight mascara and liners, $35. Too Faced Rich and Dazzling High Shine Gloss Duo gives you an indulgent experience. Includes Rays in the Roof and 401k, $25. Aurora Five Times LED Vanity Mirror works at home or on the go. Bright LEDs go all around, one times or five times mag magnification, shows you the big picture, and it runs on batteries. It is $29.99. Doll 10 Pro Palette and Split Decision Eyeliner offers you 12 shades of shadow along with a gel liner and brushes for $34.98. Royce Leather Colombian Leather Toiletry Bag has a front zip pocket zip closure and water resistant lining for $100. And finally, we're gonna go over to HSN for a minute. From Bare Minerals, More Than Meets the Eye 8-piece collection is exclusive to HSN. It is $59.98. Crystalline Glow Bronzer and Highlighter Set has a trio of shades and a chiseled brush for $38.76. Pink Please Mini Moxie 10-piece collection has pink hued glosses for $43.69. National Love Your Pet Day is February 20th, and what better way to celebrate than the indie and cruelty-free news? Get ready to visit the 60s with the Flower Child Palette from Ma Max Up the Makeup. The nine pan palette is a combo of mattes, transitions, and shimmers for a look as memorable as the summer of love. Cruelty-free and now on their site for $25. Black Moon Cosmetics is rocking the reds with the release of DeVille, their newest metallic red. DeVille is paraben and cruelty-free and vegan. It is $18. Aromi Beauty is accepting pre-orders for their glittery lip toppers made with a unique water-based formula that is vegan and cruelty-free and dries down to a touch-proof finish in about one minute, they say. They give a reflective iridescent duochrome effect with shifting color at every angle. It is available in five shades on their site for $17.
each. Double Down Cosmetics has released the remote and the control loose pigment eyeshadows. The remote is a dark brown matte with gray and vanilla undertones, and the control is a satin black pearl, which can be used as a shadow or a liner. Both are organic, vegan, non-GMO, gluten, and cruelty-free, available as singles for $11 each or in a bundle for $12. Prickly Pear Cosmetics introduces galactic lip glosses, each with kaleidoscopic pearls that shift shades to create a, here comes the word, holographic color shifting effect infused with avocado, jojoba, coconut, and olive oils for added hydration available in four shades on their site for $18. And finally, Mater Makeup Labs has announced that the lip frosting formerly known as Krampus has been renamed Coagulated and has been made a permanent item. It is a bold, rusty red satin matte, handmade, cruelty-free, vegan, and now on their site for $7. February 22nd is International Dog Biscuit Appreciation Day. Or if you prefer something less crunchy, it's the Sneak Peeks Lightning Round in three, two, one. Two more colors have been added for the upcoming Color Queen Beauty launch. More shades revealed for the Davina Cosmetics launches in March. The first two shades of Mythology Makeup's Bass Palette have been revealed, Lioness and Sistrum. Looks like something new is coming from Strobe Cosmetics. Any guesses? Dear Katie Brown has revealed the Birthday Palette coming in March. New lipstick coming soon to My Pretty Zombie coming in March from Sample Beauty, Erase, and Boost Bases. Eclectic sneaks a peek of the packaging for the Storyteller lipsticks and balms coming on the 28th and finally looks like an old friend is returning for a visit at Bitter Lace. February 19th is Tug of War Day, but please don't have one over this week's deals. At Costco.com with your membership, the Brow Gal Eyebrow Styling Starter Kit is $39.99 in two shades. This is $75 at Neiman Marcus. At the Sienna Cosmetics site, take 25% off everything through February 18th. Use code SWEETHEARTS, free shipping on orders over $50. At Hot Look, Philosophy is up to 58% off. Choose from brushes, blushes, skincare, and more. At the Black Radiant site, get a free matte lip cream in Rouge Red or Brilliant Effects lip gloss in Firecracker with any purchase when you use promo code VDAYKISS while supplies last, online only. Hurry, this offer expires today at 1 minute to midnight Pacific. At the Jouer website, it is buy two, get one free lip products. Some exclusions apply, offer good through February 18th at midnight Pacific. Wet n Wild has various Valentine's bundles on sale on their website. Save up to 40% off on Valentine's bundles, no code necessary. Limited offer while supplies last, expires. February 20th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific. Here's the deal that's both at Sephora and Ulta. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette with 18 shades is 50% off. It was $48, now it's $24. And finally at Sephora, Smashbox Shape Matters Palette with 16 eyeshadows, eyebrow powders, and wax, and face essentials was $55, now $27.50. Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lipstick in 28 shades was $24, now $12. And of course, there's the Sephora Weekly Wow with special deals from Anastasia Beverly Hills, Smashbox, Murad, and the Sephora Collection. Here's some late breaking news we thought you'd want to know. On Friday, emails went out from Julep stating that after seven years, they've discontinued their monthly subscription program effective immediately. All subscriptions were canceled and the Julep box has passed into legend. But any legacy mavens will enjoy a 25% discount off full priced items. Adios, Julep Mavens box. Pretties for Your Face has sent some photos of an upcoming Hamilton inspired collection. Releasing within the next fortnight or so will be the A Mind at Work highlighter palette the Talk Less Smile More eyeshadow palette, each of those are $20, and the Awesome Wow Bath Bomb for $5. Anastasia Beverly Hills introduces Dip Brow Gel designed to make filling in your brows even easier. The 11 matte shades are said to be waterproof and full coverage and match the Dip Brow Palmade. Mini size $9, full size $18, launching on their site March 4th and in stores March 7th. Cleona Cosmetics has released their Dreamweaver collection with four metallics, three duochromes, three mattes, one shimmer, one soft matte, and one transformer. All all shades are sold individually for $4.70 each or in a bundle for $45.15 USD. And finally, Bitter Lace Beauty had a surprise launch of Snapped, a soft pink shimmering base with a deep red blood splatter. Even the blood splatter is vegan and can be used on the body, face, eyes, hair, lips, and nails. 
And that's it for What's Been Makeup this week. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to the beautiful and talented What's Been Makeup official reporting team. Their faces are scrolling next to me, and the What's Been Makeup Facebook hunters, their names are scrolling below me. Thank you so much for all of your hard work and submissions this week. I appreciate you so much, and thank you as always to our production manager, Tabitha B, for her general amazingness and help with the show this week. I thank you, Tabitha, for all that you do. If you're curious about where to buy anything that you saw in the show, definitely check out the Where to Buy page at whatsupandmakeup.com. We have clickable links there for you so that you can go ahead and purchase to your heart's content, but only if you want to. Make sure you watch that Makeup Minute Monday through Friday. We do include things in the Makeup Minute that don't always appear in the Sunday show, and then I get all these comments, why didn't you talk about this? Why didn't you talk about this? We talked about it in the Makeup Minute. Where were you? <laughs> so make sure you're watching that Makeup Minute Monday through Friday. We are having our weekly chat today at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, hanging out, chatting about makeup. If you can join us, that would be wonderful. If for some reason you can't, you can always catch it on the replay. Go to my channel page, look at my videos, and look for the video labeled live chat and you can join us there. Double speed works if you don't have time for the full hour of chat. Put it on double speed. Listen to it while you're doing the dishes. It's all good. You can get all the content, just double the time. Thank you so, so much for spending part of your day with me. I know you could be watching a million things right now, but you're watching What's Up in Makeup and I genuinely appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Mad love to you and I will see you in a video very, very soon.